All right, title, we got our board brief for the 2nd, or sorry, the 3rd of February and Saturday, and we have a partner workout 20-minute AMRAP with a partner. Three and a half laps of a suitcase carry. Um, so imagine you're doing shuttle runs. Their back is one, their back is two, their back is three, plus a half down to the other end. So seven total laps of end-to-end uh, -to, -end to the gym. Um, 3553 is the weight on the kettlebell. Then we have 35 synchronized burpees. So both partners working at the same time here. Um, the rep counts when you stand up, jump and clap, but you have to meet on the ground, both chests on the ground at some point together, synchronized. Okay. And uh, then we got 30 kettlebell goblet squats, and that's with the same kettlebell you're using for the suitcase carry. Um, if you're a mixed team, male, female, you can use, excuse me, you can have two different kettlebells so by all means, even if you're at two different skill, uh, skill up, have two different kettlebells if you, if, uh, if must be. Okay. Um, level two is the same as our X and then level one is same time domain, um, 20 minute AMRAP, three and a half shuttle laps. Uh, suitcase carry 18 and 26 so pretty big discrepancy between kettlebell weights so if this is going to be too light but the RX is too heavy grab something in between something that's going to challenge you okay 20 synchronized burpees so um, the rep count goes down by 15 and then 30 air squats now if you want to do light goblet squats that's fine with me as well um, and again, the synchro burpees must meet on the ground, chest on the ground at the same time as your partner. All right, so a couple things in this workout. Um, you can scoot, you can do whatever you sort of please for these shuttle runs as long as we're going end to end. Um, suitcase carry is, is having a one kettlebell. So my recommendation for this is when you're doing the, the the suitcase carry is that you keep your arms straight the one that's carrying the kettlebell if you can okay can i shuffle yes can i scoot yes you can do as you please you can walk it as well um the 35 synchro burpees and the 20 synchro burpees for each category here it's super important not to get no repped all right or we're not sorry you're not gonna have a judge but Keep yourselves honest if your chest both aren't on the ground at the same time it is a no rep uh what happens if one partner stands up too fast can i just stay on the ground and my partner come back down and meet me absolutely okay um so don't get no rep on them because there is quite a few burpees and we all know everyone loves a good burpee so try to try not to get no rep it takes a lot of time to recover from that Okay. And then the 30 goblet squats is to make sure that we're squatting below parallel um, and standing up all, all the way. Those are the standards. A couple things you want to think about when we're doing goblet squats, especially if we're trying to pound them out really fast, is to keep that chest up tall. Keep the kettlebell really close to us. It, in best practices is to keep the kettlebell on our chest at all times. Okay. Um, those are just some helpful hints for the workout. Have some fun with it. Grab a partner, maybe someone you don't know in the gym, a newbie, and uh, get it on and do that workout and hit it hard, guys. Enjoy.